On October 7th, 2025, the European Space Agency made history. For the first time, humanity was about to see 3 i Atlas, an interstellar object sweeping past Mars. Anticipation was electric. Scientists, astronomers, and space enthusiasts waited for the breathtaking reveal, a crystal clear image of an alien visitor crossing our solar system. But when the release came, expectations collapsed. Instead of a sharp portrait, the world was handed a blurry dot, a single faint smudge against the black canvas of space. That was it. Almost immediately, questions erupted. Why was this all we were given? Where were the high-resolution shots from powerful orbiters circling Mars? Why did NASA, China, and even the UAE, all with spacecraft in position, suddenly fall silent? Theories exploded across forums and news outlets. Some suggested technical failures. Others whispered of censorship. But the most unsettling possibility was that agencies saw something. They weren't ready to share that left the biggest question of all. What was so unusual about 3i Atlas that the most powerful space programs on Earth refused to show us the truth? This wasn't just another comet. Since Oumuamua, no visitor had sparked such debate. And with each evasive answer, the mystery only deepened, pulling us into the unknown. The first genuine glimpse of 3i Atlas near Mars didn't come from a billion-dollar observatory. It came from a tool most people have never even heard of, Perseverance's sky. SkyCam. SkyCam was never intended to hunt for interstellar visitors. It was a weather camera designed to monitor dust storms and cloud movement over Jezero Crater. Its specifications were modest. No powerful optics, no precision tracking. And yet, on October 2nd, 2025, it delivered the impossible. When the raw image was released, most people saw nothing. A washed-out Martian sky streaked with faint haze, nothing unusual at first glance. But tucked away near the edge was a tiny tiny speck, barely visible, annotated with a green marker by NASA. That was it. 3i Atlas, captured from the surface of Mars. The improbability cannot be overstated. Capturing a faint moving object during daylight on Mars through dust-filled skies, using a camera designed for weather, borders on miraculous. Skycam was not built for this. The odds of success were almost zero. And yet, the frame existed, silent and undeniable. Behind that image was a story of persistence. Persever Perseverance's rover team had been under pressure. Budget cuts, political wrangling, even a U.S. government shutdown threatened operations. Skycam was nearly sidelined, but one shift lead argued passionately to keep it running. She insisted that even the slimmest chance of detection was worth it. And she was right. That faint green dot became humanity's first surface-based proof of an interstellar object. Not seen from Earth's telescopes, not captured by a satellite, but recorded in the Martian sky itself. For the first time in history, an alien wanderer had been seen from the ground of another world. For one brief moment in October 2025, the universe handed us a gift, a perfect alignment. Mars sat in the exact path of 3i Atlas, and circling that planet was the most diverse fleet of spacecraft humanity had ever assembled beyond Earth. Think about it. Seven sets of eyes, each with different instruments, each capable of capturing the visitor from angles Earth could only dream of. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, with its powerful high-rise camera, able to zoom in on details smaller than a desk. ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter, specialized in analyzing chemical signatures. China's Tianwen-1, with both radar and optical sensor. The UAE's Ho Probe, orbiting high to track atmospheric changes. And on the surface, two rovers. Curiosity, still stubbornly alive after more than a decade, and Perseverance, humanity's flagship explorer. For one night, Mars wasn't just another world. It became the ultimate observatory. On October 3rd, as 3i Atlas swept past, these spacecraft were in position. Every angle covered. Every possibility accounted for. Scientists across continents had been preparing for months, building observation schedules down to the second. This was the chance of a lifetime. No ground-based telescope on Earth could compete with what Mars now offered. And yet, what followed was silence. ESA released a faint animation of a speck drifting in the Martian sky. Nothing sharp, nothing definitive. NASA blamed a government shutdown, claiming data could not be processed or released. China's Tianwen-1 team simply said nothing. The UAE's Ho Probe, usually transparent with its findings, went dark. One by one, the voices went quiet. That silence was deafening. Because in that silence, the internet found its voice. If seven spacecraft, armed with some of the most advanced sensors ever flown, all had the perfect chance to capture 3i Atlas, why was the world shown nothing more than 
in a fuzzy dot. Was the data lost? Was it corrupted? Or was it being withheld? Theories spread like wildfire. Some claimed the object's brightness was unpredictable. Others insisted there were technical delays. But the more people speculated, the more one possibility loomed. Maybe those cameras saw something that didn't fit the narrative of a natural comet. Something so extraordinary, so unsettling, that space agencies chose not to share it. At least, not yet. And so, what could have been the clearest picture in history became instead the biggest question mark. A perfect alignment of machines and minds, all watching, all recording, and yet the world was left staring at silence. What followed after the Mars flyby was stranger than the blurry image itself, because for weeks leading up to October 3rd, the agencies involved had promised openness. ESA teased their observation plans. NASA hinted that MRO's high-rise camera would target the object. Even amateur astronomers were told to expect a flood of data. And then, nothing. After the flyby, four rival agencies who rarely agree on anything seemed to find one common ground. Silence. ESA posted only a faint animation of a moving speck, the bare minimum to prove they were watching. NASA claimed the government shutdown prevented its scientists from releasing new data. China's Tianwen-1 team stayed completely quiet, avoiding the subject entirely. The UAE's Ho Probe team, usually quick to share images with the world, suddenly locked down communication. It was as if an invisible curtain had been drawn, and behind that curtain, the truth was hidden. The internet erupted. Within hours, hashtags trended across platforms. Millions demanded answers. If seven spacecraft captured the flyby, why were we seeing nothing but dots and grainy streaks? Some believed the agencies were stalling, buying time to calibrate their instruments. Others suspected technical failures, but the darker theories spread faster. Was 3i Atlas showing signs of being artificial? Did the spectrographs reveal chemistry too bizarre to explain? Or, most chilling of all, did it maneuver in a way no comet should? Because silence breeds suspicion. And when four global powers all hold back at the same moment, people notice. Theories spiraled. Secret government briefings, hidden signals, even classified contact attempts. The longer the blackout lasted, the more dramatic the speculation became. Every day without answers felt like confirmation that something had gone wrong. Or perhaps something had gone too right. And so, what should have been the most transparent scientific event of the decade transformed into a storm of secrecy and doubt. The silence didn't calm the world. It only broke it wide open. For weeks after the Mars flyby, the silence held. But fragments of data began to leak through. Conference slides, unpublished papers, whispers from observatories. And buried inside those fragments were clues that pointed to something no ordinary comet could explain. The first anomaly was its trajectory. From the very beginning, the orbit of 3i Atlas raised eyebrows. The odds of a random interstellar object lining up so precisely with Mars were calculated at less than 1 in 10,000. That alone could be dismissed as chance. But this wasn't just a flyby. The path was unnervingly clean, almost like it had been plotted. Every small gravitational tug seemed corrected, as if some invisible hand had kept the object perfectly steady. The second anomaly came from its chemistry. Typical comets, vent water vapor, carbon monoxide, sometimes ammonia. But when ESA's trace gas orbiter ran its instruments, it reported something unprecedented. A coma made of 95% carbon dioxide. Almost no water at all. That is not how comets behave. Water ice is their foundation, their identity. Without it, you have to ask, is this really a comet at all? Then came the third anomaly, even stranger. When spectroscopy teams dissected the light bouncing off the object, they found emission lines for nickel, but none for iron. Nickel without iron is virtually unheard of in nature. On Earth, on asteroids, in meteorites, the two metals appear together. To find one without the other suggests an origin story that doesn't match any known process in our solar system. The fourth anomaly was its light. Polarization studies showed that 3i Atlas scattered sunlight in ways no other object of its size should. Negative polarization, extreme and consistent, as though its surface wasn't rough ice or rock, but something smoother, stranger, material engineered to reflect light in a very specific way. Each of these findings could be dismissed on their own. A statistical oddity here, a strange chemistry there, but together they formed a pattern, a pattern too sharp to ignore. The more scientists tried to fit the data into natural explanations, the more impossible it became. Some suggested that 3i Atlas was a fragment of a super exotic comet born in the outer reaches of another star system.
system. Others whispered that the anomalies fit better with something manufactured.